This tutorial is going to be a background into what Google Scholar is and how you can use it to start searching and collecting literature. So you can go to Google Scholar by just typing in scholar.google.com and go pressing enter. It's going to take you to this page where you have Google Scholar similar to how you have Google and you can now type anything you want into the search bar. Today I'm going to be working on one of the things that I worked on as a graduate student which was Ion Mobility. So if we just type Ion Mobility into the search engine we're going to get all of, of the highly relevant generally most cited things that has Ion Mobility in it. And so the first thing you can notice is we're getting the first result is from 1990. We have some from 1997 and one from 2008. So if you are searching for something and you want some, some articles that are more relevant, you have this anytime here. So you can have from this year alone, 2021, or you can go back in time or put in a custom range. So if I want from, let's say 2015 to 2019, and then hit search and now it'll only filter those that are within that time period. So you can sort by relevance and so this is Google using its known keywords to try and give you uh, what it thinks is most relevant to what you're searching or you can sort by date and so this is going to give you the things that came out uh, the soonest even if they're not the most relevant. So if we go back to sort by relevance you can see here we predominantly have some reviews that are about IM mobility specific and if we sort by date, because it's only interested in what came out first, I am mobility isn't generally the main part of these different papers. It's just something that it was used to do. So that's kind of really just the overall basics is if you're looking for one thing or another, you can just search for what you're looking for. So the next part I want to go into is talking about the keywords that you're searching. So for example, you can search ion mobility or mass spectrometry. And so you see that we get a few different things related to ion mobility and mass spectrometry, but it doesn't necessarily have ion mobility mass spectrometry in the name itself. If we create a different Google Scholar search and search ion mobility and mass spectrometry, we're going to get different results. So you can see here all of these have ion mobility and mass spectrometry in their titles where if we just search the or, we don't have them all in their titles. A lot of these just have ion mobility spectrometry. If you're not just looking for something that includes one keyword or a different keyword, but you want both keywords combined in there, then you wanna be able to actually search using the and key and not just include the keywords or use the or key. The second thing that I want to show you is the use of quotations in the Google Scholar search engine. So if we wanted it to specifically say mass spectrometry, and we, we definitely want it to include mass spectrometry, and we want to include mass spectrometry as spelled like we have. So with this space in between it and everything like that, and we search, you can see that it brought up much of the similar things because it was already looking for the mass spectrometry in it. However, if we were looking for something, say, um, drift tube ion mobility spectrometry. So this is one specific type of device, but in reality, it has a lot of different keywords in there. It has drift, it has drift tube, it has ion mobility, it has spectrometry, and it has ion mobility spectrometry. So if we press enter, we're going to get some things that include uh, drift tube ion mobility spectrometry, some things that are just ion mobility spectrometry, and then some that have this drift tube separated out or combined together. But now if we put quotations around it, we're going to get all things that in the title have drift tube ion mobility spectrometry. So this is something that if you have a specific thing that you're talking about and there's a lot of different keywords in it, you can simplify it down by using these quotations so it's actually pulling for the one thing that you're talking about. So that's really basic view of how to use the keywords in order to get exactly the kind of papers that you want to see and not just everything related to one of the keywords in what you're searching for. The final thing I want to cover in this basic tutorial is what the advanced search looks like. 
So in the advanced search, you can do a few different things. You can find all articles um, with all of the words. So if you typed in um, just drift tube eye mobility spectrometry, it would make sure that the article included all of those words, but not necessarily in that order. You can search for the exact phrase, which is what we did by quotations, where it actually has drift tube eye mobility spectrometry. And then you could just search for at least one of the words. So that would be like having the or function between all of those. So if it had drift in it, it could pull it up. Something that's really important is you can exclude words. So I can exclude traveling wave. Um, that's a second type of eye mobility. So if I exclude those with traveling wave, then I'm just going to get those that are interested in drift tube and not papers that are potentially comparing between drift tube and traveling wave. You can also determine where is it going to search. Is it going to search anywhere in the article or is it only in the title that it's searching for these words? And then these last three are probably the ones that I use the most often. So if I'm looking up a, for a specific paper and I don't have the DOI, but I remember some of the keywords or something, or if I remember the author's name, we can put in the author's name here, and then it'll only return articles by that author. We can put in where it was published. So if I want JASMIS, uh, Journal of American Society for Mass Spectrometry articles, I can get those. And then if I can return the dates. So you can also do this like I showed you before in that custom range under the time, or you can do it here in this advanced setting. And so it's basically filling in this information for us so we don't have to do it by using that advanced search. And now we can find the papers that are only coming from JASMIS about eye mobility. That's a way that you can get at specifically what you're wanting to look at within Google Scholar and using this. And then you have two different ways to access it. So these all have the PDFs available. So you can right click and open those in a new tab or you can open their original, um, it, this will actually take you to the web page that you're going to. So you can see here we have the PDF and this is going to pull up the web page that we're interested in. And that is a basic tutorial of how to use Google Scholar. If you're interested in diving deeper into your research, consider getting my 30 day research jumpstart guide below to help you figure out which of the papers you should be looking up and how to start developing the keywords that you would want to use in Google Scholar. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.